Public sculptures like this one by Henry Moore are part of the fabric of our lives. And yet more often than not, we walk past them without even paying attention. Today though, 41 post-war sculptures were categorised as listed, like Winged Figure by Barbara Hepworth on London's Oxford Street, and this one, a celebration of engineering sciences by Alan Johnson in Leeds. Posy Metz is from Historic England. Do these pieces matter though? Do people actually really care about them, do you think? I think they do, they do really care, but it's very easy to take them for granted. We walk past some of these pieces every day and don't really stop and think about them. And sadly, it's only when sometimes they're under threat of being removed or something happens to them that we really show how much we care. So let's see if these people actually do. Do you know who it's by? No. Nope. Does it matter to you? Not really, no. I think people may take more interest in public sculpture if we listed them. Did you know that that was a Henry Moore? No, you but do. I do now. You do now. Yeah. <laughs> You've probably seen this chap, it's Winston Churchill by David McFall. We wouldn't want him to meet the same grisly end as this Barbara Hepworth that was nicked from a park in Dulwich and sold for scrap. The listed status should hopefully protect these works a bit more than they have been. But let's go back to our Henry Moore called Knife Edge Two Piece. Henry Moore chose the location for the piece himself. He liked the fact that it was by a public path so you could get right up close to it. He wanted us to feel that it belonged to us. And that's the quality that a lot of these public sculptures have. We do feel like they're ours in a way that we don't with pieces in a gallery. This one, Donkey by Will Sukup, has a shiny back from where children have patted him. Couldn't do that to the Mona Lisa. And next time you walk past one of them, you might stop and look. Ruth Liptrot, 5 News.